Okay, so what is metallic bonding? Every bonding will require you to remember one picture, one diagram. If you remember that diagram, you'll be fine. Use that to basically illustrate your example. So for metallic bonding, here's the situation. We have atoms and these atoms are in layers. So they're in regular order. So kind of like this, there you go. Always draw at least three layers. That's important. So you should draw at least nine electrons, like uh, atoms like this, but you can draw more, but not less than this. And these are atoms, but because they're so close to each other, they lose their last shells. And what happens is their electrons are just lost. They just throw them out and they're just randomly distributed here. Always draw electrons randomly, which means that there should be some between these electrons. In some MCQs from many years ago, electrons were not very randomly arranged. But as long as there's no fixed order, that is fine. And electrons should be between the atoms as well. Sirf sides pe na ho. Yahan pe bana dene. Try to put some in the middle as well. Okay, so what's this? This is free electron. The electron is lost. It is free. And this is what we call cation. Why cation? Because it is positive. It has lost electron. And ion means something with a charge. So any atom or atoms that have charge, we call them ion. So that's another term you should know about. Ion. Atom or atoms with charges on them. So atom is neutral, but ions are not. And this one has a positive charge because it loses, it has more protons and less electrons. So it is positive. So we have cations in layer. That's the diagram. Now, how does this explain anything? Metals, they lose the last shell. That's the thing. The last shell is gone. But what is bonding? Bonding is always about a force. So here's the definition. Metallic bonding is force of attraction. It is the attraction or strong force of attraction between cations in layers and free. Free electrons are also called C of electrons or also called mobile electrons. So you can use any of these terms. Now, where's this attraction coming from? Remember positive attracts negative? So cations are positive. Free electrons are negative. And positive attracts negative and the attraction is called metallic bonding. So remember one thing for any kind of bonding. There is the definition which will always be Force of attraction between something that is positive and something that is negative. That is always the bonding definition. Something positive, something negative attracting each other. How that is done will be different. So in metallic bonding, electrons are lost. They are free. There is a sea of electron. And that is why you get the bonding. 